So Thomas, uh, thank you for having us this week. Um, the week is almost at an end, uh, but I want to talk to you about your lake and what the future might bring for it. But you and I know each other from the past, and I know that you've been a European self-manager for Tracker before, and also a, a fishery manager in England. So what made you buy your own lake here in Poland? Yeah, that, 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 that was actually my, my dream for, uh, let's say, yeah, you know, when we start in uh, fishing, which is the carp fishing, but basically fishing, I think uh, loads of us got some dreams and, yeah. and, and having the own place on the world where you can actually catch fish or actually share the fishery with people is something, uh, something nice to have. And uh, to be honest, but I started really 10 years ago thinking about it. Yeah. So it took me about 10 years to, to find one. Yeah. It's not... Uh, you know, it's it's difficult because you, you can't really find the lake on uh, on like uh, online websites and stuff. You know, maybe in France I found it. Yeah. They, they've got something kind of the auctions and stuff where you can buy the lake. But basically, I'm from Poland. I've been living in the UK for so many years as well, and I've always been thinking to go back to my own country where I'm coming from. And uh, the first step where I did it, it was like uh, having a finger on the map, you know, and, yeah. and searching for some unknown waters and then searching for the owners, really. This lake is basically uh, maybe one of the luckiest things I, I ever had because I, I, I never thought about this lake. You know, I've been here 12 years ago where actually the environment about the lake was, was just uh, completely flooded. There was no trees, nothing. There was still gravel work. Uh, done on this place and so so it is an old gravel pit as well yes this yeah. is this is mainly maybe not a gravel but the sand sand pit that, yeah. let's say that way uh, they used to when they did the road road works and stuff okay. they, they, they they used a lot of uh, a lot of sand for yeah. for concrete yeah and, uh, so so yeah that was the sand pit and uh, I've been here about 12 years ago first time in my life you know I've seen this place and I wasn't interested at all you know no. Uh, I had some, uh, I had some different lakes in my, in my, uh, let's say mind, uh, but uh, yeah, lucky thing, one and a half year ago, almost over one and a half year ago, I came here and, uh, and I've seen this place in a lot of anglers here, you know, and I found it that's still private, you know, yeah. uh, so I found the owner at the same day, yeah, yeah. and I went to the owner. I really wanted to lease the lake first because it's, you know, buying a purchasing lake, it's, it's. Quite a, quite a expensive thing, but uh, yeah, owner said he's interested to sell it, not interested to lease. And then we had the chat for a couple of months, negotiation and yeah, stuff, yeah. And, and here we are. And uh, basically, that was my dream, you know, the the, the dream to have. Uh, so sometimes you just need to be on point in your life, uh, and, and and that's it, you know. Yeah. But yeah, that was my dream as as a young youngster, and then I thought like. A, and I've been living in the UK and doing the bailey thing for one of the lakes in the UK, a big lake, okay? Maybe not even one, there, there was a few lakes. And uh, I, I learned a lot about how to run the fishery. Yeah. Because, yeah, almost this is a kind of the fishery, not just the lake. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that, nice. that's, how, that's how it actually started, <laughs> you know. And what about the name Edwards Lakes? Because Edward is an uncommon Polish name, I think. Uh, Edward is a common common name in Poland. It, yeah. it, it does, yeah, you know, but uh, it's like international name yeah. anyway because Edwards exists everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, basically, the Edwards, like you know, I've been what, what I've been wanted to do really. It's it's all about the anglers where, well, you know, when I when I've been living in UK, load of loads of my uh, friends also unknown names uh, people anglers which which they know me from the trade or know me from the television or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, they always ask me how is really fishing in UK. What's the kind of the style UK is? Because uh, in Poland, that that well, it's about 15 years ago. Yeah. Uh, carp fishing in Poland is not old-fashioned uh, fishing fishing way. You know, it's pro probably I would say still new yeah. for for loads of loads of people. We don't have so many carp anglers. Okay, it's it's a common thing now, but it hasn't been 15 years ago. So they've been as asking how is it really in the UK, where almost let's say carp fishing started from UK. You know the best, the best biggest brands, uh, for which are directed to carp anglers. They they coming from England. Uh, so my idea was uh, to do the lake in the style of English fishing. Yeah. You know, uh, and I really wanted to have the name 
in Poland, which is still weird for some Anglers, but having like an English name, and I couldn't find it. And, uh, every single lake in Poland co is called by the city yeah. nearby yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to the lake, and, and, I, and I really wanted to find some nice, nice name, and it wasn't easy, but at that day, or that time, you know, uh, my dad passed away, and yeah. uh, it's all about my dad, you know, he was a was a fantastic man for me for whole life and uh yeah i named this lake on his name yeah. nice race and i'm sure memorized yeah it's all it's all about you know i'm i'm putting the passion to this place yeah. you know putting my life really into this place uh and and i felt like you know one month before my dad passed away which of course uh nobody knew it will happen because he had a heart attack and uh, nobody you know you can't expect a thing like this no but he did ask me if uh, if I can put our signature name into into the name of the lake, like uh, you know, I'm Thomas. My dad was Edward, and my surname is Mulke. And uh, he wanted me to put like T E T E M into the logo. Uh, and he did said to me, "It will be nice if if something gonna left when he's gone yeah, yeah. in this world." So. Uh, and I did it yeah. because the name of the lake was different. Uh, I actually named this lake quite different, like from the city where we are, yeah. which is Oso Ozovia, uh, and that was like carp fishing in Ozovia. Uh, that that was the first uh, original name of the lake. But then, soon, since since my dad passed away, when that was one month later, uh, yeah, I think that was like is one of the best. Yeah, things. yeah, but it stands out. Yeah, it's, it's different from all the other Polish lakes. Of course, so, you know, so still people don't know where the really lake is. Yeah, because when they hear in like Edwards Lake, uh, they thinking this is somewhere abroad. Yeah. They don't know where it is. I didn't put, I didn't put this uh, this lake on the map on the Google map. And uh, I don't want to really. Okay. Uh, that's why when when people are asking for directions, they still asking where it is exactly. Uh, I don't want to be on the Google because there is a lot of fake accounts. Where, okay. You know, sometimes uh, I'm not I'm not going for a five star on uh, on the social media. You know, you've got some haters, you've got some lovers. Yeah, let's yeah. say that way. Uh, and and I felt like if I'm not if I will step away from the Google, uh, then then won't hurt yeah. my business, won't hurt my leg, but also I will secure my let's say business life and, uh, and everything what i'm doing here from like fake accounts which i just put one star because because it's mine okay so so basically people are still still like interested what exactly edward's yeah. lake is so yeah. you know if i will call this lake in polish name it will be a lot easier for me to merchandise that that lake uh, to be more uh, visible on the market as well yeah but I think Edward's Lake is what it needs to be. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, how big is this lake? How big is the area? And um, I noticed there is some water on the way in uh, mm -hmm. to the parking lot. There is a couple of other lakes. Yes. There what, is, how is how does it work? The, the the whole area is about twenty hectares, which is uh, in in acres about forty four acres. Yeah. Uh, and it holds up up to four lakes, really, yeah. uh, where they are divided by two. Yeah. Uh, but what I done, uh, actually behind us, there is a carp fishing lake, which we're fishing yeah. for a week. Yeah, it's the main lake. Yes, yeah. and uh, and that's the main lane connected with the with the other one. Yeah. Uh, so that will accumulate to 20, 22 acres. Yeah. And then I've got still on that uh, road nearby the road nearby the gate the one lake which I've used for. Just much anglers, you yeah. know, for like all specimen uh, yeah. anglers where they can come and enjoy uh, the, the time. And uh, and of course, be on in front of us, uh, behind those, behind you, there is a stock pond, yeah. which I let's say divided from the match match lake. Yeah, where yeah, I'm yeah. actually I've got stocking uh, some fish, which I'm feeding, and, and they 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 actually growing. So it's it's like my little farm. Okay. Uh, of some carp. Okay. So so. It's you. You grow the fish on site. Yes, as well. From, yeah. from a certain size. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Um, what kind of fish have you added to the the main lake? The main and lake. and what what kind of fish did you know was in here before? Because I know there is a lot of 
uh, public lakes uh, yeah, yeah. and channels in in Poland that holds carp. Yes, of course. Uh, so you know the, the the history of the lake. I, I've got some pictures from 2009. Then mainly I've got the pictures of the carp 2012, yeah. 13. Uh, to be honest, when I've started, I really don't. I really don't didn't want to focus on that uh, no. because there was a lot of rumor. There was a lot of gossips that I've got big carp. I've got some uh, old fashioned carp and stuff. The previous owner been stocking this lake for almost twenty years with carp because carp is a common thing in Poland to eat. Yeah, uh, basically not in my lake, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's it's something w which was common for yeah. the past years. Uh, however, you know, I stuck this uh, like on the, straight from the beginning uh, to find the easiest way to find down the old stockies, you know, to, to catch them uh, if they exist is to put some smaller fish uh, which they will move them, you know, they, they will were, they were actually wake them up you know, to be lazy yeah. and start searching for the food because, the, because, uh, because basically it will be bigger consumption of the, of the food in, yeah. in the water. So I did stock 300 fish uh, in between 5 to 7k. Yeah. And, uh, that was that was last year on the beginning of March, so, yeah. so nearly let's say 15 months ago. Yeah. And, uh, and then and then we stopped it about around 200 fish from 10 to 17k, something like that. And, uh, where I will say uh, I didn't have the chance with them with the bigger ones uh, to let's say photograph them all. Okay. And, uh, because the tank just. Came and then yeah, dropped yeah, the fish yeah. in. Where with the smaller ones, uh, it was a different story because uh, I actually went to the farm and I've been picking it up. Yeah, fish so, I saw really some wanted. of the fi pictures. Yeah. yeah. So, so in them 300, uh, it's about 175 uh, line carp, yeah. which got the special scales and yeah. they, they just immaculate condition. Yeah, they also have some awesome. almost fully scaled in here. As well, yeah. as well. So so the 170 fish, uh, I've, um, I'm mainly I, what I did, I, I did also the pictures on the both sides before I actually yeah. put them in. Yeah. I had the fish tanks here, so I had the time to, to do it. And, uh, but so more or less it's about 500 fish that I put in myself. Yeah. But uh, nice surprise and, and, and that's what something I like it, you know. Uh, we did we did call last year twenty a cup, which I didn't stop. Yeah. Uh, and and they were from like twelve to seventeen k, and that was in between the common cup and also uh, police carry a mirror. Yeah. Uh, so there is some old stockies, you know. We could talk about it quite long because I still know the guy which uh, been fishing here for years. I, I met him after I purchased it. Yeah. He told me about loads of stories regarding not even this lake, but also the Mass Lake, where there's supposed to be some big carp or been catching big big carp over there. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I'm, I'm giving myself a little bit margin, you know. There was a guy on this bag uh, in the May this year where he reckoned he added 28. 30 kilo yeah. uh, because his personal best is 28 and he said to me basically I know him for the years as well so I do believe him uh, he lost the fish but uh, he's seen it all because it was close to his boat and close to yeah. close to landing it but there was a uh, barbless hooks and, and, and they come off okay so uh, the biggest fish I've put last year in October that was a 22.8 so this is yeah. the one 100% I know I've put myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I purchased it uh, from the farm and, uh, and I put it in. Okay. Uh, but that, that's all about the stock, you know, we will see that there there, there, definitely there is some uh, surprises inside the water because uh, it's it's not that uh, when you're catching 20 carp during one season where there was close season as well and uh, the lake wasn't running and I only uh, invite my friends to, to check yeah. You know, to had some had some fish in fun and stuff and they've been catching new fish yeah where you can recognize in between the new and old uh old fish how they look and, and there was a, something 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 nice but yeah we can see that the uh, the new fish has definitely taken over uh, a yeah. lot of the feeding grounds uh -huh. uh, since we've been catching uh, stockies yes. uh, all week. Yes. I still love the fish, but yeah. uh, the smaller fish. They need the time. Yeah. They need the time. Of course, they will grow. You know, yeah. uh, they will grow, but they need the time. This is also this is not a quick project. Yeah, it's yeah, a slow, yeah. slow move project, and uh, I think every single place you need to have some some time yeah, yeah, yeah. to some time to to be where I want to be. And talk about growth. Uh, we talked about it before, but yes. for the viewers, um, 
some of your fish have grown what a hundred percent yes yes in, I was in, within a year within the uh, you know the lake is uh full of natural food yeah yeah, yeah. and uh which is good as well this is not only water so so actually the water comes from uh, the ground stream yeah as well as you can see you know we had a couple of uh, storms already yeah uh, and then the water water level went up yeah uh, where Basically, for a month we didn't have really much rain, and the water level went down just a bit because it's about 15 centimeters, which does not make any difference to the to the fish and to the water. Uh, however, there is a lot of a lot of natural food like mussels and uh, bloodworm and and insects as well yeah, in the yeah. water. Uh, and yeah, we we actually we uh, one of the anglers uh, caught fish which was 9.1k, and then I've I've, I've stuck that fish. Uh, we compared the fish because it's an amazing looking stringy fish and it was four or four and a half kilo that was one of the smallest i think i've, I've put it mm. and that was 4.6 kilo grow which is uh let's say it's understandable because that happens in environment if the, yeah, yeah. if the water is like full of full of uh, good goodness for 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 food yeah uh, but uh yeah you know oh, so it's, it's so a young fish so it, yeah, it will yeah. Feet, uh, but I heavier. also, you know, you, I, as you remember, I saw that fish where it was yeah. seven, in between seven and eight in 2019, yeah. in, in the summer and seven months after, which was last year in April, we caught that fish and it was 12.2. Yeah. So still for even 7k carp growing in one seven months, 5k, yeah. and you actually can see on the picture that fish grow that wasn't just a belly, that wasn't just a, just a eggs in the, no, no. Before, before the spawning time. And, uh, that's something, something yeah. interesting um so what are other fish are in this lake especially for carp anglers especially nuisance fish yeah. uh, like bream or tench or anything yeah the, but there what? is a tench you know there is not bream that's why no. nobody caught bream uh i'm happy about that yeah <laughs> <laughs> who loves the bream uh definitely know my water you know no. which is which is good the match lake doesn't have the bream and i'm not gonna stock bream no. as soon as i'm gonna stock bream there where some match anglers they would like to cut some bream because they're very active in in feeding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but as soon as they will be there, you know, the birds will fly out with them over here. Yeah. Uh, so that will mess up all my waters. Yeah. Uh, so no, definitely not bream. But yeah, you've got loads of roaches. You've got loads of uh, tench. You know, but uh, actually, two weeks ago, or last yeah, two weeks ago, there was the first tench coming off on the uh, carp rod. So yeah. and it was a big one as well. You know, yeah, it was yeah. about two kilo. Uh, tent, which is nice for Tinky Tinky. Yeah. However, or Tinka Tinka. However, you know, there is a lot of uh, predators as well. Yeah. Uh, we've... Show, I saw a picture of that pike you caught. Yeah, that pike there. was amazing, you know. Yeah, that was a big fish. 101 centimeters, but yeah. I had a bigger one yeah. this year already where I lost it, I think, around 120. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there is a lot of. Uh, there, is, there is a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, pike and a lot of uh, perch. And also. On some point, if someone will want to, at the moment the the, the, the predator fishing is banned yeah. because I want them to grow in a seriously big yeah. uh, sizes. So I probably be, will be open the predator season when the cat fishing season ends. Yeah, uh, just for fun, just for five people a day, something yeah. like that. Yeah, because a lot of uh, carp banks actually turn to predator fishing in the colder right. months. Yeah. As well, I like it. You yeah. know, I like to 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 catch the predators on spinning rods yeah. and and stuff, uh, but that cannot disturb over anglers, you okay. know. So so in on my lake it's banned. Yeah. And it will be open like like maybe, you know, end of the October or end of uh, on beginning of November when it's gone cold there. Uh, yeah. Then for a couple of months. Okay. You know, for yeah. the fun. Excellent. Um when you fish your own lake, how do you approach this water? Let's say um what are your go-to methods? Uh, you know, the lake is tricky, okay? Yeah. It's not easy lake as no. well. And I'm going to keep this lake as like, you know, if nobody fish in the weed before, because the, the lake is weedy, yeah. pretty much weedy. Uh, it's not that weedy as it was when I bought it. No. Because when I bought it, uh, I was shocked by myself how much weed is in the lake. Yeah. And, and I found like three spots where you can really put the, put the rods. Uh, however, now is the, 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 there is hundred spots. You know the, the fish doing their job. However, uh, what I will advise, if I can, 
you know, if we come to my lake, definitely have the shockley there in the yeah. in the long distance. I mean, like 15 meters at least, 15 meters of uh, of shockley there. Fish by the weed. Yeah. Finding the holes in between the weed. The the, the actual weed is like a home for the trout. Yeah. Uh, so so I, I would say avoid the don't avoid like clear spots because the lake is still new and the fish didn't learn so quick no. you know maybe in five years time they will avoid the clear spots but at the moment in my opinion uh fishing in the weed nearby the weed nearby the reeds you know it's challenging yeah. however it's a good fun yeah that's actually uh, answering the next question is <laughs> because of the ex extensive amount of weed. It's actually mo uh, one of the most weedy lakes I've ever uh, uh -huh. fished, but it's it's a nice challenge and I like a challenge. Um, but it also demands um, from the angler and the gear that he's using or she is using. Uh, so the advice to an angler coming here, obviously use the shock leader. Shock leader, yeah. stones, yeah. that's the first thing, you know, yeah. uh, whoever feel is like to use in the leads, yeah. the leads are banned. So, uh, yeah. and I ban the leads only because of the taking care of environment, you yeah. know, think in the future. Uh, okay. You know, at the moment, there is a rumor as well that in uh, in Europe, the, the leads will be banned for fishing and uh, and hunting. Yeah. And, uh, so, so that will happen someday. Yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah. leads actually got massive impact to the environment, especially water. Uh, nobody thought about it for uh, at least last 30, 40 years when mm. you're using the legs. You know, they will replace it. So I've replaced it straight away. You have to use the stones. Yeah. Uh, and basically, yeah, we can yeah. show you yeah, what, what one kind of, these. of the stones. And this yeah. natural stones that That's you have stone. made for your leg. Yes. And also have a big uh, ring swivel of course, on it yeah. as well. And, and it, it works perfectly, yeah. you know, the same the same, same way as a, as a proper lead. Yeah, and that's uh, a six ounce, and that's believe a, it or not. Six, six, six and a half. Yeah. And also what I like, because that's a lava stone. Uh, the lava stone's got a lot of holes inside. So you can actually use this, use this lead as a, your, uh, let's say. Uh, feeder. Feed, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because like you feature, uh, feature of well, what you do, you dip in this in your dip. Yeah, that's soaking a dip. Yeah, attractive as yeah. well. Uh, and then as soon as you put it in the water, it, it goes away uh, from the lead. So yeah, uh, but that doesn't affect the environment. No, for fishing, and uh, you know everybody knows how lead actually affect our bodies. Mm. If anyone works in the lead industry. They wear masks and stuff, and that's that still doesn't really much help him. Uh, so for fishing environment, definitely let's have some impact. Yeah. So in the future, minding, you know, stone uh, or concrete, yeah. as example. And you sell these the uh, by the lake, so you can yes, order you these can, can when you book uh, yeah. a peg on this lake. Yeah. yeah. And basically, you know, I'm not making on this any, any profit, let's say, uh, and and that that's what's my idea is yeah uh, because i'm doing this for my leg i'm yeah. not making money on it uh, i just rather you to use it and have yeah, it yeah. as i'm paying uh or whatever it costs me to to make it uh because this is for my place yeah so, also uh, boating is boat, probably yeah. mandatory here yes of to, course. to to get the fish you know, maybe because not they're in april maybe not in may no. uh because you can fish from the bank you can cast yeah because the, the width is not that big uh but uh, yeah for future months yeah. of the year i'm recommending the boats but yeah. boats are here as well you can hide them yeah hire them on the from me so that's no problem but definitely boats are the key of, of yeah, yeah of fishing here yeah we've we've noticed that every single fish is snacked up when we yeah. when we pick yeah, up because you know well, i did i did uh, fishing on the more weedy lake like this yeah almost packed up with weed but what the fish reacting to the hook when it hook himself uh, if it's the first time, yeah, goes like hell. Uh, but where it goes, goes to the where they feel comfortable, mm. and feel comfortable in the in the weeds. So, yeah. so maybe one more advice is, which is good one, uh, don't hold the fish until you not under the fish, uh, and and this is a big advance. Yeah. Because soon as soon as the fish the fish will feel pressure on the line, she won't stop. Oh. She will just go and go and go. She will dig in the weed. And then it will be more trouble for you to just land it. Yeah. So leave it, leave it. When you've got the room, prepare yourself, go on the boat. Yeah. And, then, and I think it was a similar thing when we met on that lake. Yeah. yeah. The first time there was some weed and that 
the biggest advice of that was don't put the pressure on the face until you not see it or you very close to it. Yeah, also, uh, it's mandatory here to drop the lead yes. on take so you don't have that anchor yeah. point when the yes, fish goes into the snaggy conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, That's going to help you as sometimes, well. Sometimes, you know, when, I, when I've when lost like one or two fish yeah. Yeah, and I still had the lead on, yeah, yeah. Like that, even I'm not clipping so much to the, to the safety clip, it's just that rubber comes a little bit on it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I've been not even put the rubber on. I've just been leaving the lead with open open safety clip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to just get away of it. Because soon as soon as fish will go away of the lead, it will go up. Yeah. You know, if not, I will be digging down and yeah, then yeah. you got the trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, a week here uh, changes only on Saturday like any other uh, yeah. fishing lakes here. But how much is a week? This is Saturday and not Saturday because it's not settled yet. Okay. If you want to come Monday to Monday, if you want to come Wednesday to Wednesday, that, that's up to you. It's all about to to tell about it. You know, I'm not okay. I'm not putting the pressure for the anglers that need to be Saturday Saturday. Okay. If you like it, Friday Friday will be Friday Friday. You know, yeah. that, that that's that's open minded. You know, if someone will wants to come for a just weekend. Then yeah, it's like Friday to Sunday. Okay. The weekends are Friday, Sunday. But if you're coming for a week, then I don't mind when you come, when you know. Okay. Uh, the prices for the fishing is actually about in Polish lot. It's uh, it's it's all about if you're using two or three rods because yeah, you have yeah. also that uh, that choice that choice. Uh, but three rods cost ninety zloty, which is about six hundred thirty. Six hundred thirty per week. Yeah. That's so so that's about one hundred forty euro. Forty euros per yeah. week. Yeah. That's cheap. You know, it, it is and not, uh, but I do, I do believe this is a fair price. Yeah. You know, this yeah. is a fair price. Of course, I've got some projects in the future. Which, yeah, yeah, of course. But uh, for me, it's a fair price. I'm happy and so if, if for someone is cheap, then, yeah, then yeah, even yeah. better. Yeah. Uh, what services do you offer, by the way? You know, the services when you come in like you did, you know, yeah. you've got definitely food package, which you will see, which uh, you all all of you viewers will see on, the, on my website soon in English. Yeah. There will be food package. Actually, you are the first one which food package uh, yeah. has been taken. And yeah. so that's why I'm always asking you if it's good or not, because yeah. it might taste, it, it could be tasty for me, because I'm Polish and it's a Polish, it's a kitchen. Uh, but if it's, it if it wasn't tasty for you, you like it, then I will probably keep that and stay with our restaurant, which yeah. which makes them for me. So they deliver in on the time you really like it, yeah. uh, which is which is full full package of the food. We can do dinner, breakfast, also also lunch. Yeah. Oh, lunch is the main one. Yeah, yeah. That's no problem. Uh, then what else of the service? Yeah, you've got the porter bay port table uh, toilets yeah. over there in the future maybe next year I, I hope I will do the, the showers as well yeah uh, which is like a mandatory thing yeah. to have uh, I'm still waiting for the electrician uh, yeah. to be on the lake but uh, of course if you if you will come as we spoke yesterday about it there will be a solar panels where you will be able to charge your phones yeah. and, and the batteries yeah and uh, uh, also, I think uh, power charges, uh, banks, and yeah, whatever people yeah, use. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, and anything. I mean, even big batteries for yeah. the for the for the boats, you will be able to to charge from the solar panels. Yeah. Uh, so so that's that that's the bone. You know what service I can do? I can also do the service fly in, fly out, uh, which means I can hire you all the equipment, yeah. uh, including the rod sleeping bags. Uh, uh, beds and, and, and everything really you need. Yeah. You can just take your little bag with you with the clothing uh, and the end of tackle and okay. then, and then uh, oh, that's everything, nice. else, everything else yeah. uh, can be sorted. And what's nice of this lake as well is, and I know we're talking quite a lot and it's going to be long, but uh, the, the the lake is placed in the center of Poland. So, so really, Poznan, which is the uh, good airport, yeah. and, uh, Warsaw, Gdańsk, uh, Lodz, or Bydgosz, uh, that's only about two hours, yeah. almost two to two hours twenty minutes from uh, from the airport. Yeah. The closest one is in Łódź and, and Warsaw, uh, so I do recommend Warsaw because there's two two airports. But you can fly there. I can pick you up, yeah. drop you by the lake. Everything will be sorted on the bank and then drop you off to the yeah. to the airport. Also, um, I know there's a rule about tiger nuts on this yes. lake, which yeah. I think personally is, is a good thing, but, but also you have to buy them here by the lake. Yes. So, but what in the future do you think about 
maybe providing paid? I know you... Maybe you know, I'm, I'm thinking about the provide paid if it's gonna be needed. Yeah. If someone will request it, that's no problem. You yeah. know, I can provide anything. Uh, regarding the tiger nuts, I did ban the tiger nuts uh, for like one kilo per three euros per day. Yeah. Uh, and you can buy it on my on site only. Yeah. It's only because I control the quality of the of the tiger nuts. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, of course, tiger nuts is one of the hell good uh, buy, bait, right? For the for the carp angus, but so many carp angus in Poland are making themselves. Yeah. and they making themselves incorrectly yeah. so i banned them to not to bring the tiger nuts to the lake so i want to control what they actually yeah. put into the lake what's the most important for me as well is again environment that's why no lads the stones uh, limited amount of the of the tiger nuts but i'm doing a uh, laboratory check yeah. uh, of the of the water condition every yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the beginning of every month, we will be, I'm taking the taking the um, uh, water with me, going to the laboratory, okay. and we doing checks. Yeah. So this year, as it, as it's first year of the of the fishery, and there is a lot of food, not natural food, coming into the water. Uh, that's that's the key also for me because if something will go, or will change, uh, for the water, I I can amend myself, you know, with with maybe less uh, maize or anything yeah but that's important that's yeah. also important yeah. to check the lake is stable that the water is stable because as I, as i said at the beginning there is a there is a cold streams coming up from the ground yeah, yeah, yeah. there is no river around you know that you, you can make a water flow yeah and also make sure that the carp grows steadily and not providing yeah. food that doesn't really do anything yes. for them yeah yes. Okay, what's um, because you have I talked about this before uh -huh. the future of this lake, uh, and I know you have some plans as well. Yes. And those plans, I think they're realistic, especially thinking about these um, this bigger fish that you uh -huh. put in, how much weight they're already put on, and what how how do you see the future of this lake? You know, my, the future of the lake, uh, if we're talking about the fish yeah. stock. Uh, Again, my dream because it's not not easy to 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 make that dream up, but you, I never give up. You know, it's a 50, 50 cap over over twenty k, yeah, uh, over forty four pound. That's my target. You know, I know about one because I stock one. Yeah. Uh, then if if I will have the opportunity to buy twenty, I will I will just go and buy another twenty. Uh, if I will have the opportunity to to grow my fish on that pond. Up to 20 kilo, I will be even more happy, you yeah. know, because that, that 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 gives me some history of the fish as well, which is also important. Yeah. Uh, so the plans for my lake is to to have a stock of 50, 50, 20s, and then I thought like about maybe 200 cap over 15 k. Yeah. Uh, then I'm still thinking about it. Maybe maybe that will be a good way, maybe not good way. But I thought so if I as soon as I will have a 50, 50, 20s and 200 minimum 200 fish over 15k up to 20 then I, I will take everything else back to the stock pond yeah. and make them grow because I really would like to have I prefer really to have one bite during the whole week and have a big one yeah. instead of 20 small ones so 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 the project of the fish stock is like yeah I would like to you to have to buy today and you know you're going for something extra. So, so the future of this lake is going to be a big fish lake? Yes, that's 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 my target, you yeah. know. That's my target. Uh, I like big fish. Everybody does like yeah. big, big fish. But somebody said to me, you know, put 100 up, like 5k, yeah. then. So you will have even, like, you know, them yeah, 100 yeah. little yeah. ones comparing to, to the big ones and you don't know ever if it's a really big one or no. just a small no. one. However, you know, it's uh, year by year it will change. My target is 50, 50 20. That's, yeah. that's, that's for sure. And maybe that one single 65 pounder, that 30 kilo fish. <sighs> I think, you know, <laughs> it, that 22 will grow. Yeah. How fast, we, didn't, we never know. Yeah. But uh, even if it's not going to be five, it will be 10 years and it will be there. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's uh, the f if the environment of the fishing, of the lake, sorry, not fishing, but of the lake will be kept on the high level then the fish will pay back yeah the fish grow and the fish themselves will pay back yeah because it's all about how we treat them yeah and then 
and you open just this. The lake is, as you know it, I bought it is what, two, three years you, uh, you found it? Uh, it's gonna be three years in December. Yeah, and it just opened this April. This April, yeah. And it's got a stock of more than 600 fish. Yes, I, I, I believe so, yeah. Yeah. I believe so. The yeah. mass lake is more interesting yeah. for the mass anglers because I've put 1,006 of the cap over there. <laughs> and it's only, and it's five times smaller than this one. Yeah, yeah. But there, there must be a fun, yeah. you know. I've put them carp over okay. up to 10 kilo as well. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so they've got the little fun down there. So again, you know, I've got four lakes. Yeah. Uh, and the stock pond, the mass lake, the carp over there, like even on mass lake, there is 1,600 carp, they will grow. Yeah. You know, the people are actually call, catching carp over like seven, eight, nine kilos there, they still will grow. Mm. But what I said, I don't want to really have carp or the mass lake over 10 kilo so soon as they somebody will catch maybe you know 12 kilo carp from there it's no point to have that on the on the on Sing the floater or, or, no. or the, on, on, on the feeder in my opinion so i will take it off oh, and they will go on match gear so it's yeah, a big then, fish then then yeah, yeah of course it is but it makes a lot of damage yeah. as well for the anglers with the lines it's totally different to the catfish. fishing so i've got where to 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 grow the fish you yeah. know and uh, and I'm opening third lake next year, yeah. just for the pole fishing. Yeah. yeah, which I'm gonna build this this winter, and there will be another another lake. That's why I'm calling this as a it's Edwards Lake, but it's really fishery. Yeah. It's gonna be three lakes: one lake for the match anglers, then another lake for the pole anglers only. Yeah, and then carp fishing. Yeah, but like we talked about, it's a nice way to honor your father. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I hope he's proud, you know. Uh, I think so. It's it's a it's a really nice area, and and uh, we, uh, me and the other guys talked about that we like the idea that you kept it natural. Yes. Uh, all the trees, the bushes, um, the dirt from um, digging up the the, the swims, yes. you kept them like small hills, so stuff just grows. Yes. And and it's it it's must, nice. It must it must be, you know. It's yeah. a Comparing to the English water, it, it, you might not compare as much. No. But uh, environment, environment, and environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I love to sit in on the lake. It's not even mine, but on other lakes where you can feel uh, the, 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 the natural around. Yeah, nature. When, when you can see it, when you can feel it, you can accommodate to it. Yeah. You know, and you can appreciate that. Yeah. That's the first thing. Yeah, yeah. That's why this lake, I had the mind. To not to like disturb this place. Yeah, change the nature. Yes. Yeah. But accommodate ourselves yeah, as yeah. anglers to it, and you know, and 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 be like connected together. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you, Thomas. Thank and you, thank you for having us. Oh, and, it uh, was a, it was a pleasure for well, myself. I, I think know. we'll be back. You know, I've been waiting for to see you. You know, yeah. we didn't see each other for like almost two years. Yeah, and nineteen. Uh, no, eight, yeah, nineteen. Yeah, nineteen. 19. That's right. Covid last year, and uh, happily you could come this yeah. year. And I'm so 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 glad that uh, you've been here. You've had some takes. Yeah. As I know, you had some fish. Let's say, uh, let's wait for some big ones. Yeah, it's last night. Let's last let's night. hope for the bigger yeah. one. Yeah, you last had night. some. Shitty weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we, we are still alive, so we can yeah, still catch the yeah. fish. Yeah. No, don't say you're still alive because nobody was shooting, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the weather was, was strange, it was hot and yeah. Uh, and then it was rainy and then it was lightning and then it was storming yeah, yeah. and then it was hot again. Yeah, by the end of the day, yeah. it's the last night, the rose on. It works. Yeah, it yeah. Is good. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's gross. Anyway, if you will want to see this place and you will want to come you're very very much welcome uh, you can see my website uh, which is the www.com uh, .com no it isn't edwardslake.com uh, yeah we'll we'll put in the in the end of the video yeah i will put also facebook yeah. edward slake yeah. as a facebook and yeah. edward slake as a instagram so feel free to follow it will make my makes a smile on my face for sure and yeah uh, if you will need anything as well talk to me too. yeah i'll be happy to help yeah brilliant thank, thank you, you very much and uh someday i will come to denmark that's for sure yeah <laughs> thank you man thank you